So um, Dr. Jay Sordine is a people person. He loves to work with and help people. He considers himself to be lucky to have worked with hundreds and hundreds of people over the more than 30 years he's been in practice. Um, if you know the DISC, D-I-S-C system, as taught through the Referral Institute, you will know him as a promoter type. If you know the bank system, you will know him as a knowledge and information type, as well as an action and nurturer type person. Dr. J is separated from his Israeli wife of 25 years. Nevertheless, he still feel, she still feels he's a very fine person, caring, and a great mom and occupational therapist. Um, Dr. J has two adorable and very smart daughters. He adores them and loves being around them. They enjoy watching movies that let them all cry together at the mushy parts, like Bollywood type movies. Um, well, well, called the brain in elementary school by classmates, secretly Dr. J's favorite subject was show and tell. So today will be a show and tell day with Dr. J. Yay. In my practice, we consider health to be 100% functional. And that means ease in all aspects of your life. That's, you can think very clearly, you can fall asleep quickly, you can wake up with energy, your digestion works. And what happens is that as the body loses functioning, when we have lost 20% of our functioning, we start at 100% and go to 20%. 20% down, when we're at 80% function, we start having malfunctions. When we've lost another 20% because of degeneration, when we're at 60% of our functioning, we start developing dis-ease. And when we continue to lose function, which does happen, when we've lost 60%, we're at 40% functioning, that's when symptoms occur. That is typically when people will come into my office for treatment is when they have symptoms. Symptoms are due primarily to three primary causes. One is stress, one is trauma, and one is toxicity. Anyone here ever had any stress in their life? <laughs> or toxic exposures? Any amalgams in your mouth? Or any traumas? Obviously, Dr. Matt never deals with people who have traumas. Of course, he has a lot of people have traumas as I do. So these are three primary reasons why people have a loss of function in their body and the degeneration, what goes on. These three things cause stagnation of blood and oxygen in the body, imbalance, and decreased functioning. Excuse me a second, Jay. You want to bring that forward? Yeah, I should have put it in the center. Thank you. Now we're going to see. Stagnation, imbalance, and function are lost. My job as an acupuncturist and alternative medicine provider is to come up with a diagnosis and then treatment. It's two different aspects of the process. So, show and tell time. So, there are a variety of different things that we use for a diagnosis. One thing is palpation using the hand. I'm passing these around. You can look at them. One is eyesight, seeing what's going on. Another one is smell, important to understand. This is a strange ear. This is hearing. You have to use hearing, what people say, the tone of the voice. Um, there's a shouting voice. There's a, a singing voice. There are different voice qualities that are reflected uh, in energy and organ balance or imbalance. The heart have to feel what's going on. Also, have to use the brain both with intuition as well as intellectual processes. All these things here. We also have things like a sphygmomanometer, things that most people can't pronounce. We have a grip strength tester that needs to be used to um, evaluate how strong someone's grip is in things like workers' comp, in personal injuries. Uh, there are laboratory tests that I do, saliva testing for hormones or for poop. We have urine tests for heavy metal, urine, heavy metal in the urine to see if you're actually detoxifying properly. Just keep passing those things around. This is show and tell. Uh, stethoscope. Listen to the heart. 
got a machine here that is a bioimpedance analysis machine that we measure uh, chemical toxicity in the body with. This is a protractor to measure range of motion of the head. You need to document a lot of things in the office for workers' compensation, for personal injury cases, to show that things actually are improving or not. There's another little measurement thing that we use a protractor for. For the angles of the elbow, we've got this. This is a, a yardstick. Well, not a yardstick, okay, it's just a, a foot. But we have to measure people's height and their weight. And more of the toolbox. Have to use brain. Extra brain. Extra brains are always good. Liver, oops. Extra part, we don't need that one. Uh, needles. Neurologic relief center technique. Tools. Electrician's tape. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> Electrical acupuncture machine. A machine that we use for peripheral neuropathy, for treatment. This is if we need to ask patients to leave quickly. <laughs> uh, detoxification, uh, using the feet. So anyway, we use a lot of different tools in diagnosis and treatment. Where am I at, Right at five. Great. So the process is to take a history, do an examination, evaluation also, do an analysis, then come up with a diagnosis and then treat. There's a lot of people who skip a lot of this and they don't do a very thorough job and I recommend that you don't go to people like that because there are so many things going on in the medical profession where uh, physicians are, are cramped because of insurance and other things. They do a very brief evaluation and a lot of things are getting missed. I have a health history questionnaire form that's fairly long. People fill out. Another one that's even longer in order to figure out what's going on functionally and with the different organ systems. There are different forms that we have to use um, in work comp and personal injury car accidents to monitor how bad someone's pain levels are, where they are, what their level of functioning is. And I also have specialized forms that are for like assessing brain function and toxicity in the body. So let me give you an example of a patient who came in. This person is a 60-year-old firefighter. He's retired. His name's Roscoe. Name is protected. Is, is not the real name. He retired due to disability. Um, he's paying out of pocket. He had vertigo. He had to have his daughters drive him to the office. He has low back pain, transient ischemic attacks, which means he blacks out occasionally. He has brain fog, has sleep difficulty for the last 25 years, and he also mentioned the typical firefighter has to retire age 52 to 54 because of all the stuff that they breathe in on the site. So there's a lot of chemical toxicity that is going on that affects the, the nervous system. Um, we started doing acupuncture. We did acupuncture. We did neurologic relief center technique to remove uh, binding in his meninges. We also uh, did testing of his of heavy metals in his urine and found that he was not detoxifying properly so we started a regimen of clearing that out. Um, we also did a food sensitivity test to see which things his body was causing inflammatory reactions to. When that happens in the gut, it also affects the brain. So his brain fog, his, his vertigo, things of that nature um, were due to some food allergies also. So it's a multi-level uh, complexity of this particular individual situation. So he had to stop, um, he was intolerant to fructose and white potatoes, cauliflower, codfish, iceberg lettuce, lamb, psyllium, string beans, and sweet potatoes. So these were things that he had to change and take out of his diet as well as remove heavy metals. One of his surveys, um, which is on the neurotransmitter assessment form, he started at a 151 at the first Rear Valley was at a 101, so we got a 30% a improvement. And then he's down to 96 on his most recent results. The survey that I handed out, this three part that folds out, this very long one, many people hate filling it out. It's a lot of, a lot of information, but it is very valuable for me and for the individual to see what's going on with them. 
So it charts out, and up at the top here, I code in red because this is where the symptomology and signs are, are severe. These all have to be addressed. And you can see there's a lot of red on this initial chart. A lot of things going on, but not surprising given the situation he came in with. So he had 15 in the red zone, three in the yellow zone, and only four in the green zone. After working with him for eight months, we got down to seven in the red zone, five in the yellow zone, and eight in the green zone. So everything's starting to calm down. So actually tracking how well people are doing is helpful for them and for me as well. But we can see all the different areas where things um, are improving or we, where we need to add to what we're doing and modify the program. Also here, this is just a test of adrenal function. The adrenal glands, if they're out of balance, can cause sleep problems as well because someone's too amped up, they can't fall asleep. So sleep is one of the issues that we've been working on. He's had it 25 years. Uh, problem, that's one of the few things that takes a long time to change for this individual. But, so hopefully uh, my little show and tell was beneficial for you to learn about all the little knickknacks and the things that, that I use in my practice, both for diagnosis and treatment. And I think I don't have any other things to show you. So my name is Dr. Jay Sorian at the Redwood Clinic, urging you to take the natural path to optimal health. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.